JT's covering a Mantra 3. Ooh, first look. Let's let's refresh the subscriptions. HO coverage, DIY bottle rockets, EDC pens. Oh, Patty Rant. That'll be a good watch. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, Cedric and Ada, best to worst knife companies. Let's start there. Man, these ads are going to pop up, though. With the conundrum he is in, can our hero make it there in time? Stay tuned for the next episode on the adventures of... Backlash. New innovative design. Clean, elegant lines. Smooth fit and finish. Beautiful contouring. A knife that everybody is talking about. Do you, Savibi? All right, and if you stay tuned to the end of the knife show, we're going to do a combo deal on this just for you guys. All right, Ed, what do we got next? What's that? The Savibi. The, so oh, the Savibi. All right, here you go, boys. Brand new from China. Check this out. Matte pricing is $69.99. But today, and only today on my show, we got a hell of a deal for you boys. Get this. For three easy payments of 20 I think those ads would work on. Oh, damn. Huh. What's going on guys? So today we are reviewing the Civivi Aquila. It's actually not going to be a really long review. There's a few things to talk about. We will be using the Civivi uh, Backlash as a comparison. So we've got two Civivi knives here, courtesy of Bubba Peppers. Thank you, sir. So to start things off, this is actually a funny story, kind of like playing into the intro. I accidentally bought this knife. True story, I was on Blade HQ. I was going to wait for us uh, White Mountain Knives to have it. <clears throat> and I was on Blade HQ playing around with the pricing and the shipping. And I hit the one button and it said, Hey, your knife is being shipped. No confirmation screen or anything. So just an interesting point on Blade HQ. Be careful when you're playing around with it. I don't know if they've uh, changed their business model to where they get rid of a confirmation screen. Uh, definitely increase their sales for my side of things because I bought this. Either way, uh, we're gonna have gonna do a review and go over a few things. So I can pretty much say that everything you've heard about the Civivis are correct. Uh, this is a great fit and finish knife. Everything is dialed in. Um, the centering's great. The sharpness was great out of the box. Uh, the action is gonna be an asterisk. Really good, and we'll get to that in just a few moments. Uh, everything, all the little details, the pocket clip which I know some people don't like to tie a pocket clip. They were like, oh, we'll just take the deep carry and knock a few bucks off. I actually like it. I, I prefer this actually over a deep carry. I don't know, it just looks really nice. You saw from the uh, spec check that we did, everything's really good on this. It's just a solid knife. This rolls in at, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, after shipping and everything, it's about 70 bucks from Blade HQ. I can't remember the exact price. So when these were, I saw these were gonna come out, I actually waited on buying a different Civivi, which would have been the Backlash, because this one just looks sexy. It really does, with the gold liners and the uh, uh, tie clip and just uh, the shape and the design of the blade. I really like this one uh, a lot better than the Backlash, at least the aesthetics of it. And this one is a little bit more than the Backlash, but we've got some details that we can kind of go over on some of the things they did better, and we'll take a look at that. So your hardware is kind of this flush, flat hardware. Let's see if we can get it in there. 
versus the Backlash, which has good hardware. It's got theirs, but it's not quite as refined. Um, let's see. Got a little bit of texturing on the backspace, so you get the titanium clip milled, which I think looks really nice. Uh, another thing is the back side of the pivot is a lot more flush than, say, on the Backlash. If you look here, this kind of is raised up uh, a little bit more. Both are really smooth. Both are really good. Um, both have good shapes on the blades. Both really slicey. Uh, this is about 20 bucks cheaper. You're getting the upgraded steel on this versus this. This is the BG10. This is the 9CR. So it, I think they went with the 9CR on the more, or the, I'm sorry, the BG10 on the more uh, expensive one because it's a household name. It's something, it's a, it's a steel people know and trust. It might not be their favorite, but they know what they're getting with it. I think that's why they went with this. And, I, and I, I'm glad they did. I like BG10. Like I said, it's, you know, Cedric did his test on this and this was fine. It really was. But getting back to this guy here, uh, I have one complaint about this knife that stops me from falling in love with it. Everything else, everything else is fantastic. It's just pretty all the way around. So the one thing about this knife that stops me from absolutely loving it is going to be, I'm going to show you two knives real quick as a comparison. So this has, almost feels like the death detent with like a frame lock where you're pushing your finger on the one side and it just really locks it in. It has a really hard detent. It's not as bad as that, but... Uh, Blade Banter does a pull gauge on his to determine the pull strength and two to three I guess is the sweet spot for a flipper knife and I'd be really interested to see what the detent is on this the pounds uh, per pull and now I might just be Mr. Ninny sissy pants here but it really just takes a little bit out of the fun factor of the knife when it's got such a hard detent I don't know if anybody else has had this problem on this one uh, this particular model so going back to really quick the backlash not not nearly as hard on the backlash it is on the other one. This one, when I got it in hand, I got this because I wanted to see what this BB was about. I was like, that's a little bit harder than what I'm used to, but man, the action is the payoff. So, okay. Then I had another knife that I have in my collection that I won from Love the Knives, and I'm going to pull that out real quick. That is the Max Ace Zealot, and this thing has probably the best action on any budget knife I have. And it's a real soft pull. It doesn't shake out at all. You can't flip it out at all. But the pull on it, and the action is just amazing. Hold on, let me get that in frame. And listen to it. It's just a nice sound, nice action, really smooth all the way around. And if I feel like that's the one thing that this Sabibi is missing. Whereas the backlash has a little bit of that. The sound is a little bit nicer. The action is a little bit nicer. That detent isn't as hard. And then we're going to go to the Civivi where the action is a little bit harder to pull and the sound isn't quite as nice. And I know that's such a nitpick, guys. It really is. But I had to pay money for the knife and, it, you know, if it's something that I should like or not like. And I just, it kind of leaves me feeling, it's more like a hollow thwack. You hear it? And versus that, that sounds nice. And at the end of the day, it's a nitpick. So... If I had to say yay or nay on the Civivi, I would say, yeah, I mean, it's great overall if you can get over that. And this might just be a bad example. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Uh, I haven't fallen in love with it like I hoped I would. It's a great looking knife. It's perfect all the way around. Manufacturing is great. Just the detent kind of, the detent and the action of the, like the sound of it. And I know that's such a nitpick, guys. Maybe I'm becoming a snob. Just leaves me like, eh, it's, it's okay. Looking back, if I was going to pick one of these uh, originally... I held out to buy this one because this one to me wasn't as pretty. The $20 is worth all the upgrades, in my opinion. We'll say that right off the bat. The $20 is worth the upgrades. But I wish I would have just got the backlash for all the previously, uh, the aforementioned reasons. It's still a good knife, same quality as everything else. The steel's a little bit different. The hardware is not as flush. But that action, the sound, everything's a little bit nicer on this versus this and i know i might leave a little, few people sour and one little side note is when i first got this trying to spidey flick it as you saw in the video was it was impossible in the way that i was used to spidey flicking you see i got it there you got to be really deliberate but i did find out if you do a different motion every time where i used to spidey flicking i used to literally just kind of flick this one it's instead of instead of like a flick out it's almost like a like a something like that versus that so yeah, if anybody wants to spidey flick their Civivi, Aquila, that is how you do it. A little bit of a different action, but than what I'm used to. Maybe I'm spidey flicking wrong. 
Jack's probably just an idiot, guys. Moral of the story, Jack's an idiot. So there it is. If you're in for aesthetics and looks and slight upgrades on the finer things, Aquila. If you just want solid action and a good worker, Backlash. Different strokes for different folks. So, all right, guys. Everybody have a good one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all really soon.